What's going on guys, Cosmic Collector here, and today I'll be showcasing my $100 comic book haul for the month of August. I recently got back into collecting comics, so I thought I would make a fun video if I showcased everything I picked up this month, and it just so happened that I reached that $100 mark. I know this is a different type of video than what I usually upload, but starting next week, I'll be uploading twice a week, so make sure you're subscribed and have that notification bell on so you don't miss out on those videos. I got books from a few different places, so I'll go ahead and move these to the side, and we can take a look at each book one at a time. Alright, so I purchased this first set of comics from my local Hot Price Books. The total was $19, with the most expensive book being Batman 611. It's an incredible Jim Lee cover, and I believe it's an early appearance of Thomas Elliot. I also picked up Dark Victory number 7. Super clean cover. As well as Legends of the Dark Knight Prey, part 4 or 5. The Batman Chronicles. And all of these were cover buys. As well as the 1989 Batman Annual. I also picked up Robin Plus Impulse, issue number one. And lastly, I picked up a couple issues of Silver Surfer. Here's issue 54 with Rhino on the cover. And this is part of the Infinity Gauntlet crossover. And I also picked up issue 55, Super Clint Thanos cover. Continuing the Infinity Gauntlet crossover. And this next book I got from Sunny Boy Comics on Whatnot. If you haven't already, definitely go check out his stuff. He has a lot of great content on Instagram and recently started uploading on YouTube and streaming on Whatnot. He seems like a really nice guy and he's very enthusiastic about comics. I'll have a link to all his socials in the description. And if you decide to check him out, let him know Cosmic Collector sent you. I'm currently trying to collect a full run of Web of Spider-Man with all the crossover issues. So I picked up this Web of Spider-Man number one for $15. I think it's a mid-tier copy but it presents really well and it's a beautiful cover, so I'm glad to add it to the collection. This next set of books actually came in a bundle. There's a bargain outlet store called Ollie's, and they were selling a mystery bundle of comics for $5.99. So I decided to pick one up. The first issue is Action Comics 1054, Superman vs. Metallo. They made a couple indie books in between. And the main reason I picked up this bundle is you can see this book through the back. Boom Studios, Power Rangers number one, super clean cover, and it's a foil. I believe this book is going for about five to 10 bucks on eBay. So this alone is worth picking up the bundle. And I got these last two set of books on Whatnot from the comic stand. They have an amazing YouTube channel and they're probably the main reason I got back into collecting comics. I'll have their channel linked in the description as well. So if you're not already, definitely go subscribe to them. I purchased a comic bundle from them on Whatnot for about 40 bucks. And the first book I got here was Web of Spider-Man 24. As I mentioned earlier, I'm trying to complete that run, so I decided to pick this book up. I also got The Amazing Spider-Man 313, a great McFarlane cover, and it's one of the crossover issues I need to complete the run. I also picked up Spider-Gwen issue 2, this is solely a cover buy. And I also got Spider-Island Part 5. I actually thought this was a part of the Web of Spider-Man run, but it turns out that was Planet of the Symbiotes. But this is a clean cover nonetheless. And they actually threw in a couple of free books. Batman Eternal 26. As well as Action Comics 25. They also included some free Marvel cards and Pokemon cards, which is another really cool thing that they do. And this next set was also a bundle box from them. And I got 16 books for $16 which was a crazy good deal, so I'm glad I picked them up. We got almost a full run of the current Miles Morales run, and we'll go ahead and take a look at those now. We got issue number 10. Issue 11 with Blade on the cover. Issue 12, another clean cover. A Spider-Man 2 variant cover for issue 12. Issue 13. Issue 14, a nice Prowler cover. Issue 15 with Kamala Khan. Issue 16. Super clean cover on issue 17. Issue 17 variant cover.
Issue 19? Issue 20? Issue 21? Blood Hunt? Issue 22? Another Blood Hunt tie-in? A variant cover of Issue 22? And lastly, another issue 22 variant, Deadpool cover. That one's funny. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed and wanna see more comic book content on my channel, leave a like and let me know down in the comments. If you wanna see some superhero statues I've reviewed, check out the playlist popping up now, or the video on the left that YouTube recommends. And until next time, God bless.